I have a house in Sarabushka. Do you know Sarabushka? Oh, it's beautiful. I've always wanted to live there. I've had to work very hard to achieve it, but hard work has never bothered me. I was working 15 hours a day when most kids my age were at school. I never complained. I couldn't. I just got on with things and everything I've ever done has made me stronger, filled me with, what's the word? Perseverance. I'm sure people who spent most of their youth being molly coddled at school or by overprotective parents have a very low perseverance level. I bet it's non-existent. I shouldn't wonder. And people with no perseverance shrivel at the first sign of hardship. They're like... Like blossoms shrivel beneath a blowtorch. But me, well, as you can plainly see, I'm a shrivel-free zone. Despite a... A battalion of blowtorches. And now... Here I am, in Zarabushka. Zarabushka is a coastal town, and my house, as it's on a hill, commands a view of the ocean, which, believe me, makes all my hard work totally worthwhile. After all, without all that hard graft, I would never have been the owner of a paradise like this. My favourite time is sunrise. I lay in bed and watch as the sun gets higher and higher over the ocean. I like it best when there's a morning mist and everything's all shimmery and shiny. I like listening to the seagulls too. I know some people find their cries irritating, not me. Seagulls soothe me. I imagine them swooping above the waves and nesting on clifftops. Their diet's good too. Sushi. So fresh it's still wriggling. <laughs> and no one tells a seagull what to do, do they? No one wakes a seagull up and makes it do things that no seagull should ever have to do. Shall I describe my house? Well, outside the front, it's all very simple. There's a neat path leading to the door, a neat lawn, and a white picket fence. I know a lot of people think white picket fences are old fashioned, but well, I've seen photographs of families behind white picket fences, and they all look blissfully happy, even the children. So I thought, a white picket fence is the thing for me. And besides, it's my house, I can do what I like. I could have an electrified fence with machine gun turrets if I wanted to, but I don't. I want a white picket fence. What next? Front door. Solid oak. The letterbox is brass and the door knocker. The brass too is in the shape of a seashell. And inside the house, the hallway. As you can see, it's got beautiful wooden floorboards and there's a rosewood console table and on it you see a statuette of a ballerina. Isn't she adorable? I always thought I could have been a ballet dancer in my life if it hadn't if it hadn't gone in another direction. <laughs> One of the men I met while working told me that his daughter, or was it his son, was training to be a ballet dancer. He told me, he promised me, he was going to give me a pair of their ballet shoes. He showed them to me. White, silk, clean, 
But then after we finished, he pushed me aside and didn't even say goodbye as I was dragged out. And so, and so, so, Sitting room. The wallpaper has got a floral pattern on it. Pastel shades. There's a big soft sofa and a big soft armchair. Two armchairs, in fact. I like curling up in one of them and gazing into the log fire. Oh, yes. I've got a real fire. None of that gas or electric stuff here. I want flames. There's a white fur rug in front of the fire. It's fake fur. I would never buy anything that hurt another living creature. My pet cat loves to stretch out on the rug and... Oh. Wait, I... I haven't got a pet cat anymore. I had to find it another home because Melissa said she... Have I mentioned Melissa? I haven't, have I? Melissa is my best friend from work. She started a few months ago, and although she's much younger than me, about the age I was when I first started, we hit it off from the moment we met. We don't get much time to talk, we get so busy. But sometimes, when we do a job together, we have time to natter as we're driven to the place where the job is happening and away from it. On one of these drives, I could tell Melissa had been crying. Her left eye was swollen too. So I said, why don't you help me furnish my home in Sarabushka? <laughs> and I told her all about it and about Emerald, my cat, on account of its green eyes. And that's when Melissa said, I'm allergic to cats. So I said, Emerald is gone. Fish. <laughs> what else could I do? I didn't want to cause Melissa any distress, and I certainly didn't want her sneezing all over my picket fence and floral wallpaper. I knew I'd miss Emerald, of course. I imagined the house without her, and it seemed so... so empty. But then I saw the smile on Melissa's face and... Oh, I knew I made the right decision. And now, well now the house doesn't seem empty at all because Melissa can use it like I do anytime she, she. The garden. Oh, this is my favorite place. The borders, as you can see, are full of marigolds and dahlias. There's an apple tree in the corner and some magnolias over there. Uh, oh, the pond. Do you like it? it it's, it's got fish in it. You see, they're called carp. They're Melissa's idea. <laughs> she saw them when she was visiting one of her men. He had a pond just like this, though not as big, apparently. He told Melissa all about the carp as he started to stroke her hair. He promised to Melissa she could play with the carp after they'd finished, but... How you actually play with fish totally eludes me, but... Of course, after it eventually was all over, after the man had finished doing whatever he paid to do, he couldn't wait to get Melissa out of the house. I said to her, Men, like a bit of small talk when they first see you. It's for their sake, not ours. It makes them feel better. But afterwards, well, they don't even ask you if you need anything. Not even a towel, if you're bleeding. I told Melissa she mustn't take it to heart. <laughs> Tears won't change anything, not for us. We're stuck where we're stuck and no one's going to unstick us. I bet even our families, those of us who were snatched from families as opposed to being given, I bet they all think we're long since dead. 
murdered. Fed to the crows or rotting in a ditch somewhere. We're never going back to them. But we can go here. My house in Zarapushka. Cherry trees in full blossom. <sighs> I'll sit under it with Melissa when she's next here. Blossom will fall on our hair. We'll laugh and brush it away. Oh, we'll have such fun.